Support for Ukraine pouring in from the U.S. and at the state capitol today, support was shown for those affected. And our Ariel Salk, NBC's Ariel Salk, was there. She went to the rally today and has more. Ariel, what were folks talking about today? Renee, Jacob, both Russian and Ukrainian nationals showed up to show, show their support and their love at the Capitol steps today. The rally was organized by a local church, but many of the people who joined are from all over the world, and they study at LSU. Chanting at the state capitol today sends a clear message. No war, no pain, uplifting Ukraine. Support for Ukraine. Students from Ukraine and Russia, hand in hand, pray for peace in their homelands, including Violeta Kovalenko. Her family is in Kyiv, capital of Ukraine. My city, Kyiv, it looked just gorgeous. And yeah, I looked uh, at the last photos of bombs hitting the buildings, and it's just terrifying. I'm really hoping that one day I'll be able to get back home. She worries for the safety of her loved ones. My whole family is in Ukraine, is in there, and the situation is absolutely terrifying. What I'm doing right now is actually a huge step because for this I might go to jail for 20 years. Karir Rosenstub's family is from Moscow. He wants people to know many Russians are not supporting the attack on the neighboring country. I would like to tell the world that we are not with him and we're against that. When Rosenstaff goes back home, he fears he'll be forced to fight for a cause he doesn't support. When I'm gonna come back, like in the airport, and they're gonna pack me, take me. I'm, I'm very scared. I'm very scared. I'm very concerned. And that's why I'm here again to let people know there are people in trouble. Kovalanko doesn't know when she will be back home, but she is sending her support from across the globe. Slava Ukraini! Heroem Slava! Yeah, so Kolovako does not know if her or the other Ukrainian students will be able to come home or when they do, if there will be a home to come back to. But in the meantime, they're sending that support to their families the best they can. Ariel Salk, NBC Local 33 News. All right, thank you, Ariel, for that. Well, ahead of the State of the Union address tonight, Louis.